Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel family. You already know what time it is. Gang gang, we in this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, you guys. Okay, so let's get into this reading for you. This is gonna be for my Aries. Let's see what the energy is like, what advice I can give you guys for today, okay? So, oh fuck it. Right now, we have the Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. You need to be aware of the fact that with the Healer of the Ages, right now it's going to be a time to where sometimes you're going to have a tendency to where you might be a little bit immature whenever it comes to expressing yourself to other individuals. And we have the Rest and Rejuvenation card. This one's a reversal. So sometimes you might be a little bit restless as well, lacking whenever it comes to sleep. And then also we have the second shock archangel Ariel. This one's in reverse. So sometimes you might be immature in terms of expressing the individuals about your um, intimate relationships because you have a lot of feelings for that person. So it's going to be one of those situations to where Aries is going to be sitting back. And because whoever it is then got you frustrated and got you in your feelings, you're going to be sitting back being a little bit immature and discussing this situation that you've been through in terms of argument wise or you guys disconnected and not being together. You're going to express it to your friends, but you're going to be very childish about it so you might sit back and more than likely whenever it comes down to this we end up talking down about a person because our uh, feelings are hurt okay hold up well, so we have the cornucopia card this one's in reverse so right now it's going to be a time to where with this deceit card you're going to be upset and frustrated because things aren't working the way that you want them to in terms of what you get and what you want and manifesting things. But it's only because with the deceit card, you're going to have a tendency to be doing shit for your own personal gain. So with the deceit card, you have a tendency to be a little bit selfish whenever it comes to some of the things that you be going after whenever it comes to goal wise. So try not to be that individual that ends up stepping over people or either fucking up relationships just in order for you to get what it is that you want. Because with the thinking woman card, this one's in reverse, letting us know that whenever it comes to your feelings, you feel like with the caring connection card, you're not going to care about too many people. And you might not care about too many people in terms of their feelings. So it's like because you going through some things, it's going to cause you to have situations to where you're going to end up you might end up messing up some of your relationships in terms of friendships, um, family members, and stuff like that. But by you doing this, it's going to be situations to where with the cornucopia card being in reverse, you're going to manifest a lot of negative situations right now. Just because you're not going to be feeling fulfilled. And with the journey card, feeling like you need to distance yourself from um, certain opportunities. Or this could be certain individuals. So feeling like you need to distance yourself whenever it comes to connecting with other people. And we have Magician in the Mirror. So right now, somebody that's not going to be making the right choices. So you also with the Patience card being in reverse too, you might be making irrational decisions whenever it comes to your finances. So try not to be in a situation because you upset. Sometimes we'll engage in what's called retail therapy to where we'll end up and we'll go spend money frivolous, frivolously because it makes us feel comfortable and it makes us to like it's like you're kind of like focusing your energy on something else and at the same time bringing yourself happiness because you're spending money on something that you want but at the same time it could lead to frustration because you also have to sit back and make sure that you watching your finances too and you don't get too caught up into overspending on things that you don't really need but just because you're going through something emotionally you want something to kind of like attach to It's kind of like a kid type of complex to where a child feels happy whenever you bring them a new toy. You know what I'm saying? But whenever they upset going through a little hissy fit and shit like that, they're they not satisfied until they get something new to play with. They're not going to be satisfied with all their old toys. They're going to want something new. Alright, and then also, 
We have Seven Shock Archangel Uriel, so you need to make smarter decisions whenever it comes to who or what it is that you manifest in your life with that Blossom and Abundance being in reverse. And with the Garden and the Gate, yeah. So this will be, you need to be smarter with who it is that you bring into your life because with the Garden and the Gate, you're going to find yourself wanting to be to yourself because with the Walking Away card, you have a lot of situations to where people make you feel like you need to let them go. So you need to be a little bit wiser with who it is that you connect with on a personal level. And then right now it's going to be a time to where with the appreciation card, you're not sitting back planning on getting support from individuals. So you must not be sitting back planning on getting support from that person. You can already see the fact that this person has moved on. You know, whatever, whatever, they doing something else. But it also, like I said, whenever we first started, it frustrates you the fact that this person has moved on. So you're going to be feeling a little bit restless because you had emotions there whenever it comes to intimate relation. I mean, intimate emotions that you wanted to share with that person. So you want to relate with that person on a sexual type of level in terms of second shock or change with Ariel being in reverse. So you want to have like a deep, intimate connection. And since that's not being fulfilled, you're not really looking for any appreciation from anybody. All right. Also, we have the woman holding a coin. So now it's going to be a time to where you're going to be spending time. Spending time whenever it comes to working on finances or trying to do better and making sure that you don't get lost in your feelings and end up fucking up your finances. Like I said, that goes back to the retail therapy. And we have the um, woman holding a heart. So now it's going to be a time to where you're going to be feeling like no one can love you with the angel of love being in reverse. Sometimes feeling like no one's going to love you. So try not to be in that energy to where you get so depressed because whoever it is that you like isn't returning your feelings. So then you get so depressed and you start to feel like, yeah, nobody's going to love me. And I just bit my tongue. So yeah, that's confirmation Aries that y'all going to be sitting back talking shit. And then, and it kind of like, is like one of those like self-pity type of things to where it's like when one relationship that person that you like doesn't work out that's when you go into that like nobody's gonna love me only god can love me you know what i'm saying like all those type of emotions start to play out and it's like hold on it's not even really that serious i'm gonna need you to get your composure together because you're stronger than this okay also we have the all tied up card so things are gonna be a little bit confusing in terms of how you could de-stress from this situation so it's one of those things where it's like you want to get over that person, but it could be confusing in terms of what it is that you need to do in terms of you getting over that person or in terms of you getting over the fact that this person not returning your feelings. And then we also have the envy card. That one's in reverse. So there's one of those situations to where you might sit back and try and make that person jealous or you have some hidden jealousy for who it is that they're going to end up moving on into a new relationship with and leaving you for which they already left, but you want to sit back and maybe help harbor some feelings of jealousy, especially with that door to spirit. So yeah, somebody that's going to be disconnected, not really realizing the situation or not really um, looking at the situation in somebody else's shoes, just seeing it from your own perspective and be sitting back, um, having situations to where you're going to be jealous about this person moving on. Because with the door to spirit, you're going to be feeling like you want to close yourself off whenever it comes to your heart chakra. So it's like you want to open up, but with the door to spirit, it's difficult for you to find the right individual to open up to. So you have a lot of people that you can open up to, maybe in terms of love. You have like people that might be interested in you that could, you, could potentially make something, but at the same time, it's difficult. Because you don't connect with those individuals in the type of way that you connected with your previous relationship or the person that you sent back reflecting on. All right, so hopefully this helps y'all out for today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace out.